Hello there, how are you going? Today I'm talking about, um, what am I talking about? Today I'm talking about power in marriage. And it's a topic where I could end up going anywhere, so I'm gonna keep myself really in check. So, you probably know what it means to have power in marriage. Uh, and I'm talking about not the power that comes from ego, but the power that comes from deep within your own inner knowing and a power that you trust because it's coming from your inner self. So let's start with what does it look like when you're feeling disempowered in marriage? When you're feeling disempowered, you can sometimes find it really difficult to express yourself with confidence. You can find it difficult to uh, connect with that self-esteem and come from a place inside of you of clarity, of strength. When we're feeling disempowered in marriage, we can get really aggravated and angry easily. We can sometimes find it quite difficult to regulate our emotions. When we're feeling disempowered in marriage, we can use our vices as a way to cope as a way to numb down, as a way to just avoid. It's like a distraction. And this is disempowering in marriage. And if a marriage, if both people in the marriage are disempowered, it creates a lot of, uh, it's a big mess, isn't it? If you're both disempowered, because you can try and please each other, you look outside for your partner to let you know that you're okay, and none of this is coming from an empowering place from either of you. So I don't think I need to go into too much more detail of what a disempowered uh, marriage looks like. So let's talk into power in marriage. Having an inner power source, so each individual has an inner power source, you've got a strong sense of yourself, you know your yeses and nos, you don't need to look outside to seek approval from your partner, you've got a really clear understanding of what makes you tick your own inner power source. And look, depending on what's going on in your world, your power in marriage can get really hit around. Look, at the moment I'm seeing a lot of stress uh, around the financial, and that creates a lot of disempowerment in marriage. So the two huge things I wanna talk about, these are the two tips that I really wanna spend time talking into. Two tips that are needed uh, in marriage. Look, I'm out of a 30 year marriage, and for quite a large part of that marriage, I did not feel that I had power. And a lot, look, a lot of it was my own shit and also my own low self-esteem and my own low self-worth. And I looked outside, i.e. my partner, to get my sense of worth. I was dependent on his uh I was dependent on him to fill up my self-worth, which just totally sets you up for not having any power in your relationship. So my two top tips. The first one is having an inner trust. So to be in a marriage, having an inner trust, what does that look like? An inner trust is knowing how to access your inner voice, your inner sense of self. And it's not by doing, it's not by manufacturing it in your head. You know, I hear uh, clients say to me, well, I, I, I just can't trust him, or I just, I just can't trust her. The trust begins with the relationship you have with yourself first. It's being able to trust your inner voice being able to trust that you've got, you know, you've got your own back 
And if you've listened to me before, I talk about the alignment of connecting in with your head, your heart, and your gut. And having that inner trust to back yourself and a knowing. You know, our minds, they're quite primal. And uh, they like to have a bit of a chat. And if we totally make decisions on uh, where we are at, particularly in our relationship, and if we just do that with our head, that's not really going to support you. It's also being able to connect into the body and trust what your body is saying. Being able to connect into the heart and also connect into the gut. If you've got any gut issues, your gut is speaking. Your gut is like your third brain. And uh, for a long time, I had gut issues. I don't now, but I did not trust my gut. I knew, but I, I just didn't trust myself enough to trust my gut. So if you want power in marriage, it's not coming from ego. The first place is it's coming from a deep inner trust within yourself. Because if you can trust yourself, you get a sense when something is off and you can speak into it. And you can ask about that. Uh, when you trust yourself, you sleep better. You can regulate your nervous system better because you're much calmer. When you trust yourself, if you get triggered and go into the fight and flight or freeze, you can trust yourself to be there, to resource yourself up. Uh, and what I mean by that, and it's different from ev for everybody, you've all got to find your different ways in this. If you are much more an emotionally focused person, is how do you connect with that inner trust? Uh, look, I don't think there's... Um, anything like meditation. I know if I'm having a bit of a wobbly time, to be able to just uh, go in, I call it coming home, be able to land in, connect uh, with my inner world, that's where your trust comes from. That's where your inner power source. And I think it's being able to work out where your inner power source comes from. Everybody's different, but it's being able to explore that and you can only find out what it is by the questions that you ask yourself, the quality questions that you ask yourself. Uh, so that's my first place around power in marriage. My second point I want to go to is your values. You know, if you don't know what your top three values are, you're a bit like a ship without a, without a rudder, you freaking don't know where you're going. And so you can be easily led and you can lose some of your own inner power source. So how do you identify your values? Well, look at your bank account. That will certainly give you a great indicator of what you value because we spend money on what we value. Also, where do you spend your time? Uh, wherever you spend your time, that is what you value. Uh, on that note, I've actually got a great process uh, that I do with people um, so they can get a lot more clarity. Uh, so if you're not sure of what you value, look at, look at those questions first. Where do you spend your time? What in your bank account do you spend your money on? Because when, when you know what your values are, you will make decisions according to your values. You will check inside with your own inner power source before it's a yes or a no or whatever it is for you. And you don't need to look outside for your answers. So having that inner power, it's you, you are not dependent on your partner giving you the answers. You're not going to be in and out or flip-flop. You're going to have strong sense of your own inner power uh, and be aligned to what your values are. And that is going to make for a much more uh, closer, present living relationship. Because uh, the key to be able to be in a marriage uh, that is um, that has closeness, that has intimacy, that has connection, 
It's being able to access your own inner power source. You know, I suppose uh, in, in summering up, I bet you can tell when your partner's a bit off, when what is coming out of their mouth isn't what you're intuitively feeling from them. And so that can create a little bit of inner conflict. And unless you're able to ask about that, it's really difficult to feel strong and feel safe and know that the relationship is, is the container where you can share. I hope this is making sense. Just let me know in the comments if it is because sometimes I can go off on a bit of a tangent and I keep coming back. But to have, an, have power in marriage, you as individuals have to have that groundedness and that sense of self within yourself. And how do you get that? Trusting yourself. Uh, and if you don't know how to do that, Google it um, or go back through uh, different videos where, where I talk into this. And secondly, being able to know what your values are, that is, that is absolutely crucial. You know, you, you Google values, values are gonna help you enormously. So bringing it back to the relationship, if you are both able to stand in your inner power, you've got your own inner power source, you trust yourself, you trust your decisions, you're able to put boundaries in place, you're able to speak up, you're able to really share from the sovereign, strong space inside of yourself, that's power in a marriage. You come from a wholeness, your partner also comes from a wholeness. If you get triggered in the relationship, you're both gonna be able to emotionally regulate yourself and come back down into calm. You're not gonna throw mud at each other. You're both gonna stand in your own power. So I got there in the end, didn't I? This is what I mean about having power in your marriage. It's being able to, as individuals, have this. And then it's just a beautiful place to be in a relationship when there is power in your marriage. Look, if you want, um, I have got a great uh, values-based um, Google Doc. It's really helpful. It can help you in identifying your values. Just um, DM, mess, DM message me and I can um, send that off to you. But like I say every week, the power of change is within you. And so, yes, yeah, so happy that you're here. Leave me a message. Um, love to connect with you. And I'll see you next week on my Facebook Live. See ya.